Okay, people, welcome to another episode of uh, Trenny Solo Reviews. I'm on the road. I'm in uh, Canggu or Canggu uh, on Bali, Indonesia. I know this isn't the prettiest of views that you've seen so far, but I'm kind of just in a, my room and it's raining out and it's nice warm rain, which I love. But um, I thought I should review a whiskey. This one's kind of interesting because we just did a live stream uh, yesterday and I pulled out this drum barrel aged whiskey. This is locally made in Bali. It is made from 60% uh, uh, like barley and then the rest is they say hops and rice. So uh, pretty interesting. I, I uh, popped this open without too big of expectations because in my experience with some of these, um, uh, like like some of the Indian whiskeys that are bottom shelf uh, aren't very good. And then a lot of different whiskey in Bali is, or like that Anrak stuff, which is really bad because it's been killing people because they leave too much methanol in the spirit. This one is at least a legitimate distillery and um, it is considered to be relatively good quality over here. And it's really well priced. This this is just a little mini Mickey. Like it's it's a little bit smaller than, uh, I think it's about, this is 250 milliliters and it cost about $7. So that's, that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna just pour a little bit here into the professional, uh, this is the, the Indonesian Glencairn. Anyway, I'll just put a little bit in the cup. That's the color of this one. As you can kind of see through here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's natural color or if there's anything added. I feel like I did read that it is um, all relatively natural process. They don't add any uh, colorant to it. So that's kind of nice. They do claim that it's aged for up to four years. Um, some things that I've read about it say they age it in oak chips and some say in barrels. So it's hard to know which one I'm getting here. This one definitely has, I mean, it's hard. Do you know what? I get a better nose smelling it from the, the actual bottle than I do that glass. It's such a different smell. It is definitely sweet up front, but there's like spices and almost incense. And the, the, the rice grain is on there. It almost kind of has a smell of, you know, those rice crackers that you can get in variety packs and some are in like the half crescent moon and they kind of have like a, uh, almost like a soy sauce um, glaze to them. That is kind of what this sweetness smells like. With, mixed with a little bit of that uh, like potpourri, um, quite fl floral. Anyway, um, there are some different notes on the nose, that's for sure. I'll try to nose like this and coat the glass a little bit here. <clears throat> yeah, it is, it is definitely sweet. It is definitely whiskey smelling, but it's not like anything I've smelt before. It's not like a single malt scotch or even a blended scotch. It's not like a bourbon. It's not even like the bottom shelf uh, Indian whiskeys like After Dark. It's more its own kind of thing. It definitely has a rice kind of grain smell to it. Okay, I'm gonna get to tasting this guy right here. There we go. This is 43% alcohol, bottoms up. It's a little hot. This this one's such a different one. It it, it starts really sweet, and mid palate it kind of gets a little bit of the heat, and then at the end, like right now, I'm tasting. It tastes like the when you finish eating those 
rice crackers that you get in the like the dandy pack um very much so like there is a rice kind of characteristic to it but not like a rice wine specifically but really uh, like a biscuity rice kind of a, a flavor to it sweet up front mid palate it has a little bit of those floral notes and now as it's uh fading it is definitely biscuity and i mean you know yesterday i tried this next to a couple of different like half half decent quality bourbons and um like a canadian whiskey i believe and then i tried this and i was just like oh it's not that great but on its own merit it is drinkable it is sippable, I guess I should say. Like you don't necessarily have to mix this with Coca-Cola right away. Um, it's a good idea like all whiskey to, even if you don't like it very much, try it neat first and see where you go from there. Like, I mean, you definitely could use this as a mixer um, to kill some of that, that heat flavor, but it is it is completely different. It's its own animal altogether. I'm glad I got it. The other thing is, is I can actually kind of use this stuff sometimes as like uh, bartering for uh, when I take a taxi driver, take a taxi and they say I have to pay 300,000 in Indonesian rupiah. Um, I can usually knock it down to maybe 250 or something like that if I if I give them a couple of swigs off the bottle. Or sometime I with the uh, Glenn Farkless, I've been giving people little filling up the ends of water bottles so they can sip on it on the way home. Hopefully not drinking and driving, but you know what I mean. Okay, one last sip, final final verdict here. I'm glad I got it. It's something to put into the memory bank and something like I've never tried before. Um, I almost wish I could send C a little sample just so he could taste it as well. Having said all that, it's not something I'm, I'm not going to finish this bottle. It's not good enough for that, but it is interesting enough on its own merit. Now, having said all that, I'm going to put this whiskey down and I am going to just quickly have a swig off of this Bintang because Bintang is really refreshing around here. I'm just gonna crack this open with my Trenny and C Challenge coin. I've chipped the top of it a few times just from popping the top like this. There it goes. And something to cleanse the palate from that whiskey. Here we go. Now that is refreshing. I like this Bintang. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I, uh, I had a bit of challenges yesterday when I was doing the uh, live stream with, with C. We got it working, we did a really fun live stream, and then I went to uh, go take out money afterwards and my bank account had been hacked on my visa. Very annoying. Somebody spent a bunch of money on my visa. I can't get in touch with anybody here. I can't even get my phone to work properly, so. I've locked everything and luckily I, I finally today found an ATM that actually works with my Interact card. Took out a bunch of money. I'm feeling a little bit more relieved now that I have some money with me and I can keep moving. Um, so this is my video where I'm celebrating. Uh, so congratulations to me. I get to move on. I'm going to Ubud tomorrow and uh, that is kind of like the cultural, spiritual capital of Bali. It's really lush, really beautiful. A lot of the famous rice terraces that are staggered um, come from there. Look it up. It's called Ubud, U-B-U-D. Look at those photos. It looks absolutely incredible. So cheers, guys. I'm Trenny, all the way from Bali, Indonesia, and I hope to see you guys soon. Trenny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish scotch. Bourbon and rye If they like a bottle They'll tell you why Subscribe on YouTube